Hi guys, it's Katie. I have some groceries here to share with you. I went to Wegmans. I spent $81.44. I did not make a complete meal plan. I was just near a Wegmans and I wanted to pick up some things that I like to get at Wegmans since I don't shop at Wegmans very often. I'll show you my meal plan so far. I made cabbage rolls for the freezer, so I made an extra batch and they're actually warming up right now in the oven, so that's going to be dinner tonight. I have everything I need to make chicken soup, so I'll make that. Um, have some ground venison, so we'll make um, just like ground meat tacos with red beans. And then Thursday is anniversary for my husband and I. So I um, saw that at our local grocery store they're having steaks on sale, so I was going to grab a couple steaks and do baked potatoes and a vegetable. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I have not planned yet. So if I need anything for those meals, I will get them when I get the steaks, and then I'll add that clip here. But mostly what I got at Wegmans is just stuff that I wanted to have kind of stocked up. Um, I am nesting, totally nesting, and I don't clean my house when I nest. I don't do laundry, I don't organize when I nest. I food hoard. That's what I do. So I've been filling up my freezer. My little um, like freezer downstairs is completely filled with meals. If you've been watching my freezer meals videos, completely filled with meals. And I don't have any room for hardly anything else in there. Um, so now I'm going to fill up my pantry. That's what I did today. So I got a bunch of stuff just to have for you know the coming weeks so I don't have to worry about it and I can sleep at night and don't have to think about a million things. So I'll show you what I got, but none of this is really for meals, I guess. I don't know. I got a big thing of toilet paper. I've never tried this toilet paper, so hopefully I don't hate it because I bought 20 rolls of it. Um, I got a whole bunch of flour, so all-purpose flour and then one whole wheat. I am going to be doing a little bit of baking for the freezer, um, and that will have to go here in the upstairs freezer because my one downstairs is full. So... I got flour, I also got cornmeal because I want to make a bunch of cornbread muffins, some popcorn, bananas. This was on sale so I got this. I love this stuff. Um, usually I saute like onions, celery, and mushrooms, add some chicken stock, and then like simmer this in it. And it makes a really delicious um, like side dish. So that could be a meal for Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Just put some, you can either like dice up chicken and just stir it all together or you can like have it with roasted chicken or grilled chicken. Anyway, I got some mushrooms because I like to get the mushrooms at Wegmans too. Got some tea. I've never had this, so hopefully it's not terrible. Some vinegar we had run out. Got some canned beans for the food pantry. I got chocolate chips and um, brown sugar for, I want to make some chocolate chip cookies. I'm going to try not to eat any like baked goods or sweets or unnecessary like refined sugar for these last few weeks. So I'm going to make these and put them in the freezer and I will think about those and have them after the baby comes. So I want to do um, quite a bit of baking. So I'm going to do like muffins and things for breakfast, um, biscuits, things like that. I also want to make a few things, you know, sweet, like maybe some banana bread, zucchini bread for quick snacks and, you know, in between mealy things and then some chocolate chip cookies. I got some carrots and potatoes. Um, and then I got these frozen bagels. I was thinking maybe I could make uh, one of my meals like breakfast or dinner and do like bagel sandwiches. I got a bunch of frozen vegetables. Well, I got corn and peas. I wanted to get more. I like the frozen vegetables at Wegmans. Um, I just don't have room in my freezer to put them. So I got a little bit. I just think that frozen vegetables are really good for just, you know, an easy quick side dish. Go with pretty much anything. Like you can put peas with pretty much anything. Um, but unfortunately, I used up all my freezer space, so I just got a little bit. I got some yogurt for the little one and my husband. I got this. I My mom used to make this for me when I was a kid. I haven't had it in the longest time, and I don't know. I was buying all of this cereal, and I saw that, so I got that as well. And I got all this cereal. It was on sale. I think it was like $1.69 for each of these boxes, except for, of course, the one that my husband likes. So I got two toasted oats. And then the fiber cereal, this is something else that my husband really likes, peanut butter, like corn crunch peanut butter flavored cereal. And then I got shredded wheat, strawberry shredded wheat, and blueberry shredded wheat. So this will last us for many, many weeks to come for quick breakfasts and things like that. Anyway, um, like I said, if I have anything else, I will insert it now. Otherwise, I will probably see you next week for my next grocery haul. Um, and stay tuned because I do have... I have at least two more freezer cooking videos 
in the works. Um, I'm really trying to get them edited and out to you, but you know, I need to calm down. Okay, everything's going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. This is going to be okay. We're all going to be okay. <sighs> See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.